when there's noise in the meditation, let the noise be. It hasn't destroyed your breath. The breath is still there. You can follow it coming in going out. When they talk about the word anupasana in Pali, it means following and seeing, literally. In other words, you keep track of something. You follow it through like a th following a thread through a piece of, piece of cloth. There are other threads going in different directions, but you're going to follow that one particular thread. So in this case, you're following the thread of the breath. As for the sounds, those are other, other threads going in different directions, but those aren't the ones you want. If you wanted to wait until there was absolutely quiet outside with no noise at all, you'd have to go into a soundproof chamber where there are noises in the world. But they don't have to bother you. Think about when you're reading a book. There may be noises around you. Sometimes even your mother may be talking to you while you're reading the book, but you're reading the book. As for the other noises, you can let them go, let them go. So you can learn how to do the same with the breath. This is what concentration is, is focusing on one topic in the midst of many other topics that there are in the world. You're making the choice, and you have to stick with that choice if you want the mind to settle down. As for the sound, remind yourself that if it's bothering you, it's, you're probably bo bothering it. In other words, you're commenting on it, which is not what you're here for. Years back we had a monk coming through the monastery, and he wanted to find the quietest place in Thailand. He went up to the top of the hill, and there was nothing at all except for way off in the distance there was a little water pump. Too much noise for him. He had to go someplace else. I don't think he ever settled down. There are always going to be disturbances. There are always going to be things that can distract you. But it's your choice as whether to get distracted or not. The whole point of concentration is this quality of anupasana, is following the thread. And as you make the most of the thread, then it becomes a place where you can really settle down. So learn how to distinguish between where your focal point is and everything else that's going on. And you're going to tell yourself you're going to stick with this one thing. The Thai term for concentration is firm intention, and it's your intention that makes the concentration. Not finding that everything is just beautiful and wonderful and you're just going to settle into all the wonderful things right here. Sometimes you have to consciously ignore things that really are disturbing. But you've got to get the mind to settle down, because that's going to be your strength. So the breath is always here, coming in, going out. Try to make sure you're always here with it. And keep following it through time. 